Today, we are pausing and praying for the nation of Israel. It's so critical right now that we pray for this conflict in the Middle East, but also against anti-Semitism that's springing up around the globe. Friends, Psalms 22, 6 exhorts us as believers to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. You know, this is, a, this is a conflict that, you know, we want to see God move on every side. We want to see his protection for people. But it's also something that we as believers need to really dig into and, and get knowledge on. God loves the Jewish people, and we've been grafted in as Gentiles into the root of Israel. As you read Romans 9, 10, and 11, you're going to see a clear picture of how we as Gentile believers are grafted into the commonwealth of Israel. So let's pray today for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, today we just pause, and Lord, we want to pray for the people of Israel. We want to pray for the Jewish people globally. And Lord, I want to pray specifically that anti-Semitism is destroyed at its root. Lord, that you would convict people of sin, that you would convict them against speaking against our brothers and sisters, um, our Jewish brethren. And God, we pray that we as Christians would stand up. Lord, if we do not protect liberty for them, how will we be protected in the days ahead? Lord, I pray that every believer that's listening to me right now, Lord, would, would cry out for the peace of Jerusalem and that we would really esteem what the Apostle Paul said in Romans 9, 10, and 11 as we think about our role as believers. Lord, we pray for Israel. We pray for them to be able to navigate this crisis. And we pray for all all people on both sides, innocent um, civilians, Lord, that are being affected. Lord, we pray for your peace in this land. In Jesus' name, amen.